Welcome friends, it's Miss Gisa, and today I have a surprise for you. The author of the book, Stop That Monkey, He Stole Ruby's Ice Lolly, Ruby Lavelle, is going to read you her story. You'll actually get to listen to a story read by the author. Let's get started. Our adventure takes us to Sri Lanka. Stop that monkey! He stole Ruby's ice lolly! And it's written by me, Ruby Lovell. I hope you enjoy the story. Ruby comes from a very special family. Her mother is English and her father is Sri Lankan. That makes Ruby mixed race. Ruby's very excited as she's on a family holiday in her father's native country, the beautiful island of Sri Lanka, for the first time. Her father has told her so many wonderful stories of growing up there and the amazing adventure she's going to have. It was a warm, sunny day. Ruby and Uncle Nathan were visiting her grandma. Ruby's grandma lived in a town called Sigaria. This place had a very, very big rock and people came from all over the world to climb this rock. Ruby was very excited. She was going to climb the rock with Uncle Nathan and Grandma. How long would it take to climb? asked Ruby. About three hours in all. Hope you ate your banana porridge, Ruby. You'll need to be strong to climb that rock. The rock has 1,202 steps on it, said Uncle Nathan. Ruby loved spending time with Uncle Nathan and Grandma, as she only saw them when she came on holiday and missed them a lot. The three of them walked along the path towards the rock. Ruby had on her favourite pink trainers. She needed them to stop slipping when she climbed. They had butterflies on them. Ruby, it's very hot, so keep your sun hat on, please, scolded Grandma. Grandma could be strict and bossy, but she was also fun and cuddly. Ruby suddenly had an idea. She knew what would cool her down, a delicious ice lolly. Grandma, if you're really hot, can we please stop at the next shop and get an ice lolly, please? Asked Ruby. What a great idea, said Grandma. They stopped at the shop and bought three ice lollies, one for each of them. One banana, one mango and one pineapple flavour. Marla doesn't need an ice lolly and she's not feeling hot, is she? asked Ruby, smiling. Marla was Ruby's favourite bear and went on all her adventures with her. Nope, said Uncle and Nathan, smiling. As they began to walk on, Ruby noticed lots of little monkeys. There were some sitting on the branches of trees. They were watching all the people walking by. There were some running in the grass and playing together. The baby monkey was rolling around. He jumped up and down, up and down. He looked so sweet and cuddly. Ruby even saw some monkeys in the bins. They were digging through the rubbish. They were looking for food. Ruby took another lick of her delicious mango ice cream. It was starting to melt now because it was very hot in the sun. Just then, Suddenly, a lot of monkeys surrounded Grandma. They blocked her way. One monkey came really close and opened his mouth wide and made a loud <sighs> sound, showing his very sharp pointy teeth. He looked scary and angry. Ruby screamed with fright. Ah! Grandma picked up her walking stick and waved him at the monkeys. Shoo! Get away from our shoe! She shouted. But the monkeys didn't move. They were brave and stubborn. A man cycling past shouted to them, They want your ice lollies, just drop them on the ground and they'll leave you alone quick or they may bite you. Just then, one monkey jumped up and grabbed Grandma's ice lolly and ran very fast up a tree. Oh no! shouted Grandma. He stole my ice lolly! Ruby and Uncle Nathan dropped theirs on the ground and backed away. Then the monkeys were fighting each other to get the lollies. Finally, they all ran off. Ruby stood crying. 
who had been never liked to make a mess, and always tidied her toys after playing and was careful at mealtimes not to be messy too. It really upset her that she had to throw her ice lolly on the ground and make a mess and not get to eat it. She was really enjoying it too. Grandma gave her a big hug and held her close. It's okay, Ruby. You don't need to be scared now. They've gone. All they wanted was food, not to hurt us. We had no choice but to throw them on the ground. These monkeys are called toke monkeys. You can only find them in Sri Lanka. They live near rocks and trees. They are omnivores. They eat seeds, nuts, mushrooms. They also like sweet things like fruits and ice lollies. Why are they called toke, Uncle Nathan? Well, a toke is a type of hat. Look at closely at that monkey. It's got a mop of hair on the top of its head, just like a cap or hat. That's why it's called toke. Look over there, Grandma said. Uncle Nathan's right. That toke is sucking on a mango. They do like sweets and fruits. I'll tell you what, said Uncle Nathan. I wish I could climb as fast as that toke did. We'll be at the top of that rock in no time. Ruby broke a smile. Come on then, let's get started. After a long climb, I'll buy three more ice lollies to treat us. We'll eat them far away from the monkeys this time though, said Uncle Nathan. After a long, hard three hours of climbing, Ruby, Uncle Nathan and Grandma were exhausted and sweaty, but they made it to the top of the rock. Hurrah, we did it, squealed Ruby and hugged Uncle Nathan and Grandma. Wow, look down there, Grandma. People look like tiny ants. It's so high up here. Later, they made their way back down. Uncle Nathan stopped at a small shop and bought three more ice lollies for them. They sat under a shady tree and their ice lollies were in their hands and they loved eating them with not a monkey in sight. Grandma was glad for the rest as her knees were really aching now. Grandma was much older than Ruby and Uncle Nathan and didn't have the same energy they did. Phew! This must be the tastiest lolly I've ever had, said Grandma, wiping her sweat from her forehead on her handkerchief. Mine too, said Uncle Nathan and Ruby at exactly the same time, and they all laughed and laughed. Now this little girl has some amazing adventures on a beautiful tropical island. Who can remember the name of the tropical island and what's this little girl's name? Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.